the quickest way to create dynamic drop down list in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic drop down list in the quickest and easiest way possible. Okay, now you have already know what is a dynamic drop down list. Dynamic drop down list is a drop down list that you create from data validation. And the best thing it has is whenever you update an entry or whenever you add another value, your drop down list will automatically update that is dynamic drop down list and in this tutorial i'm going to show you the quickest way how you can create it okay and you can use this dynamic drop down list in multiple cells at once okay now before starting i want you to take a moment and please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me let's get started <laughs> Now in column A I have names and I want to create a dynamic drop down list here in column B and whenever I update any data here our drop down list should be updated okay now to do that first we have to first we have to insert here another row and give this a name here let's say I'm going to write names and now select the entire data range and click on insert and then create a table and select here my table has headers click ok and you can see our data has been converted into a table okay now I'm going to select all the data I have inside the table except the headers okay remember you don't select the headers here okay now click on formula and then click on name manager then create new already the data has been selected and give it a name let's say dynamic range I'm going to write that okay so this is our name range if I click ok close it let's check if it's work I'm going to write here John and click on name manager and click here and you can see our name range range is updating okay now close this so our dynamic name range is ready now we are going to create a data validation drop down list here so select the cell click on data and click on data validation select here a list and then in the source press f3 and it will give you the name range select that and click ok and click ok again so if i click here our drop down list is ready okay now in the last option here is john let's write here kazi and in the drop down list you can see the last item has been updated here so this is how you can create your dynamic drop down list in the quickest way possible create a table out of your data and make it a name range okay and then call that name range from your drop down list so this is how it does and this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends thank you thanks for watching watching.